Hello, I'm here on our next generation wheel loader and I'm here to talk to you about our CAT payload scales. It's basically a feature set that provides you as the operator information about what you're moving with that bucket. But we need to know where the center of gravity of the load is and the hydraulic pressure that it takes to hold it up in the air. So we've got rotary sensors on both our bucket and our linkage arm for height. And then we've got head end and rod end pressure sensors on the lift hydraulic circuit. Uh, and with that, a little bit of uh, software in our ECM, electronic control module, now we can spit back to the operator on the standard display information about that payload system. Well, you ask, how do I access that payload system? From that main display, you can see, if you go up into the menu items, there is a payload icon. If you press that, that takes you right into your payload scale. You can see it's in standby mode. You can actually turn it on. In standby mode, you could actually get bucket information as well, but it wouldn't uh, be able to add over to your cumulative weight. So here you've got your bucket information, your cumulative weight, as well as how many passes. You've got a target that you could put in, but you don't, it's not required to put in a target. And then this is your bucket zero cow button. And this is how you subtract off your last pass or zero out of truck. Very simple layout. Uh, but then if you want to get into your payload settings, you go into your menu and go to payload settings. Now, there is a simple calibration. If you've been loading trucks, you could fine tune this, but I'll tell you the initial cal on this with the way this system is set up using customer's material and the, the knowledge that this loader has, you don't even need a deck scale to get it set up and running at a very accurate level. That simple cal is there. If the deck scale on site, you had calibrated that. So you wanna make a fine tune adjustment, uh, but uh, typically you don't even need to be using that very often. So set weigh range, these are meant to be on the go weighing systems. It means as you are traveling, we're weighing and we're constantly looking at the hydraulic pressure throughout the lift circuit. And as you see, as I lift this linkage, you can see this bar changing. This shows you where the actual precision weigh range is. And uh, this green box starts at 50% a, a of your lift height is our default mode. And then the span of that is 15. Now I would suggest that Typically, you will never need to make adjustments to these. You may make some adjustments to this low, uh, lower limit where that starts, but uh, you wanna make sure that you've got a buffer on both the front end and the back end of that precision weigh range. You wanna be passing through that range at a very constant lift pace. You should never really need to adjust the weigh range at all. Some people think if 15% of data is good, 20 or 30 is better, but that just causes you to actually travel further in your lift and 15% of data is plenty. So that's what our weigh range is. And you can see here um, visually where the machine, the linkage arm is, that's the start of that way. And here's the end. It's at a very strategic position. Uh, for most applications, you shouldn't need to adjust that at all. And I would caution if you do uh, take a look at your results and how that's coming through. Uh, anytime you're inside of that weigh range, uh, on the display, you'll actually get this icon that shows up that signifies to you that you're in that weigh range. So it's simple for you to understand, hey, I better pass through that location at a pretty constant uh, pace. Notice I do not have weight on that, uh, in that bucket yet. If you wanted an estimated weight, uh, you could actually just press that estimated weight and it would give you that uh, information right there. A much better way, but if, if you just give a smooth, steady lift, that weight will show right up on that display very quickly. Uh, and one thing to note there, uh, with our low level way, if you are down in this 30% uh, or higher, that's really where we start monitoring uh, that uh, and, and displaying uh, that, that weight. So if you don't have a weight in your bucket yet and, and you're above that 30%, you just give a smooth steady lift that comes on very quickly. And now if it's too much uh, material in that bucket, you could just go into your tip off mode right there down and low. Cause you'll find that those estimated weights are very close to a uh, precision accurate weight as well. Uh, so that is basically all the payload settings in this standard payload that is a uh, feature set that is on every next generation loader.